pants now. No, no, yeah, we're, I don't. we're just gonna go along with just his partner chins in. So we're gonna keep going with this. Okay, we, <laughs> no, 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 I, I don't know what you're talking about. Right? We can cut this. It's alright. Babe, cut I'll this. send you half. Don't we'll, worry. We'll just cut this whole bit. Yeah. I'm angry with the music. Look, that music just, for some reason, it makes me aggressive and angry. Oh, what's your ideal go-to track? Are you, you're going for a cruise along along the waterfront. Let's say going to Burley Heads. What sort of music you listen oh, to? I yeah. want it slow. Well, you, is that Malula Bar? I so want it slow. Right. Yeah, we're going Malula I requested Bar. James Arthur. Whatever, James Arthur. Whatever that really slow song is. Oh, come on. I want what, Heartbreak on my what cruises. What is this? Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> I, I want Heartbreak on my cruises. I want Sad or I want Nothing. Doesn't doesn't that make you want to kind of veer into the other lane? <laughs> do you do you need to feel something? Does it I, need I, to be like in a pain? <laughs> like no, because I feel no pain. I feel joy when I hear these songs. Why? I don't to know. know other people are going through the same pain. Like what, no, no. where does this come from? <laughs> okay. No, I didn't say comfort. I said joy. You can't tell me that if you listen to Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah, that you Ooh. feel joy from that. Of course, Hallelujah. He's been saved. What a what a moment. But he wasn't. He's gone. Uh. You know what I mean? He's, he's enjoying it. He's taking the good perspective on it. Like I, he was. <laughs> look, I I like music that feels real. It's like r- raw emotion. I'm like, okay, they're able to express their raw emotion. I enjoy listening to that more than do 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 do. Like Sorry, that just mate. makes me annoyed. So you're sad about OnlyFans yeah, banning yeah. sexually con- sexually explicit content? Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, I was actually really upset when I heard that. I'm like, well, there goes OnlyFans. That's that whole model is crumbled. So you you feel saddened more so about that versus uh, Gary Jules? Uh, what's it, Mad World or oh, again? I, I feel happy with it. That's that's good. That gets me going. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, number five podcast in the world. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, make that tap. <laughs> I love watching the voice too, when they sing those oh, bangers. Nice. You know what I mean? Like, do you enjoy watching the covers though, like on the voice? No. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy watching the voice because I like seeing someone achieve like their dream, and when they have a really good moment, you it's a big stage for them. So I like you. Can't, but I like the bangers. Any nah. pop song. No. Get that shit out of nah, here. No, nah. no. You can't, can't tell me it. you can't tell me that the voice isn't staged. The voice you, is staged because they're choosing the people who already have talent to go how on. Come, it's how, also impossible to say it's not staged because oh, it's a yeah. TV show. I, I don't care. I don't care that it's staged. <laughs> Those people were, didn't have a following before they came on. They come on and then they'll grow from it because they are talented. It's an incubator. Yeah. Talent so, incubator. But it, I don't no, care no, that no it's staged. No, no one, the Disney no one the thing is the voice is you don't like it's very rare for someone to actually go somewhere that you get exposure yes and you get some sort of contract with sony uh, everyone, supposedly every second person's got a contract with sony these days that's a stretch but <laughs> but i think every, i think now it's i think now it might actually be better the past or the most recent couple of years it's probably better to be on something like that because exposure is as important as anything who cares whatever contract you get if you get enough people caring about you, they had some young you eighteen. They had some young eighteen-year-old girl who was on The Voice in Australia a couple of nights ago, and she wasn't the greatest of singer, but she had like a following of four million on TikTok. I remember that one. Yeah, and she just she went. She just episode. went on there for exposure, hundred percent, hundred percent. And she they, doesn't need that exposure, though. But maybe I, it's I, to I, validate. I, I think it's the other way around. I think it's the other way around. I think the voice put her on or whatever show it was to get I, I don't there. Know to I, get think, ex- I think that's to get you because happened to the young because they, they would, don't need her. Because she would then tag the voice on her stuff. She doesn't need hit her. Yeah, yeah. The she voice would want them, the voice would want her. that demographic watching the show. Yeah, that's, actually, would, a fair, that's actually a fair point because because she is pulling more eyeballs than the voice would be. So many of these young people are. Oh yeah, I think the voice would still rake in a couple million viewers. In Australia, you reckon? I think so. Mm. You don't reckon? I, I, I don't know how many. I don't feel. know what it is. You know what? I, you'd but have I to look it up because I have no idea who's watching TV these I don't, days. I don't think it would be. Man, yeah, you might. You might. I be don't wrong. think it'd be more than two million. I might be thinking. Well, 10 they years re- ago. they just recently reamped it. They had all those Australian uh, artists on there, and then they had what's her name, Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato, I believe. Was she on there? Oh, look, I, I think took she a, was. I took a hiatus. I mean, they're on all this shit. There's three shows that are exactly the same. Like Idol, X Factor, The Voice. It's all the same shit. 1.3 million audience. Oh, uh, where was it? Okay, well, so that's I'll not too bad. Bill. It's not too bad. Uh, but whoever, who was the person that had the... the she 4 had 4 million, million TikTok followers. Yeah, who was? Oh, I don't know. I, I couldn't care less. I, see, now, I had no idea, but I like, watched TikTok more. followers don't have much weight either, but 
she's probably had a couple of videos that are crush. She would have had a couple of videos that are crushing the voice. But um, OnlyFans, OnlyFans has done you dirty. <laughs> that, I mean, they've but, done but me that's, dirty. That's a that's a massive accusation. But yeah, they have. Well, you've got to you've got to keep the the dick in the pants now. No, no, yeah, we're, I know. we're just gonna go along with it. just. His partner tunes in, so we're gonna keep going with this. Okay, we, no, 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 I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? We can cut this. It's all right. We can Babe, cut I'll this. send you half. Don't we'll, worry. We'll just cut this whole bit. Yeah, um, yeah. But you will save a lot more money. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> the monthly subscriptions start to they start to add up when you're on multiple peoples. You know, we sell. Like, gonna, oh wait, how many have I got? How many have I? Are you gonna go to their patrons? Are you gonna stick with? Look, these I've always been a fan of Patreon. Them? I feel like the content Patreon produces. Is, much more in depth than it's OnlyFans. Not Patreon's Ooh. content, but they, they, they endorse. Well, what's uh, the difference? I, I don't know what the difference is. So, I think just the culture. Well, how? So I'll, I'll explain it. So OnlyFans Please. have banned sexually explicit content on their platform because they've had pressure from Visa and Mastercard that they don't like the payments going through because apparently OnlyFans have been bad at scrutinizing who's allowed to put content onto the platform. So there has been examples but, of 14-year-olds posting okay, pornographic. But, that's the issue there. Oh, so only, well, that, only I didn't fans, know that's only fans have been yeah. turning a blind eye to it. But, and, they're, and they're not that interested in, in scrutinizing it in the way that they should be. So then the payment providers have scrutinized OnlyFans and they've now had to turn off yeah, but what do, sexually what, explicit but content, what do, but not nudes. But what do they define sexually explicit content Sex. to be as? So Sexual acts. Actual, like, so there was... Sexual acts filmed and performed on OnlyFans. Yeah. Apparently there's lots of it going Oh, you're on. doing this part where you don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, mate, I'm telling you. Oh, I yeah, am, yeah. I'm yeah. clean. I'm Wait, clean. Luke. You have no idea what OnlyFans is. I've subscribed to one channel before. It was very clean. I am on just, OnlyFans. Take, take me as a newbie. Take Explore. It, wow. Help me explore this, this new... Uh, this new area that I don't know about. You have no idea. No, OnlyFans is am, essentially poor. I don't know if you're watching got, I'm a freshie. Well, I'm skeptical, I'm, but well, explain to me. I it's know just, I know a lot about the hubs. I don't know much about OnlyFans. Well, that's the way the people from the hubs make their money, because they don't make money from the hubs. Exactly. So they follow Hubba Hubba to do the exact same thing. Yeah, but actually make money from it by monetizing and charging subscriptions and mm. selling pictures and what. Praying on the uh, you know the, the horny lovely, you know the lovely Lana Rhodes. Who? Who? <laughs> yeah, of course, mate. <laughs> So guess how much she got paid for her porn videos in, I think it was 2018. Sure, sure, Emil. Is that your final guess? Yeah. What, do you, have I told okay, you? Yeah, you've told me, but yeah. it's not much. $1,200. Yeah. What? For each video. Nothing. 1200 And she's like in the top, surely she'd be top that's, 10. That's, she's number one, I believe, at the moment, or she at least was for about two years. Well, how do you get money on content people give away well, for it's free? It's not her it, content. That's what I mean. Like, it's so, giving away for free. Exactly. She works for someone who... Exactly. Yeah. And... When the content came out in, I think it was 2018, it did shit. No one gave a fuck. Yeah. But it wasn't until she actually, she built an Instagram that then made her Pornhub content blow up. Sorry, the content of her on Pornhub blow up. So that's what put her at number one on Pornhub. And she wasn't getting royalty. She Ew. wasn't getting more money come through from that. So OnlyFans is power to the people. <laughs> it's the people's movement. OnlyFans so is she, starting a so movement. She's, so she's now got an account on OnlyFans. And, and she's actually creating enough revenue to... Enough? Well, yeah. <laughs> the bag what, is what's big. Enough? The bag is big. Oh, Corinna Kopf, people... David Dobrik's vlog squad member, just did $4 million in her first a month. Yeah. It's what that's a lot of horny blokes. Think about it. Five, what is it? $5 a month? Say that's what they charge most of, you? Most, they're around like, I think, 10 Some of them okay. do. There's a couple here in Brisbane who charge $20 a month. And you get 100 people doing that. That's a good, that's a good monthly wage. For, like for what for you're $20 doing. dollars a month, what are you giving though? Yeah, you're not That's... giving me. You've said this before, but you're not giving me more than Netflix has given me. I can get what you're giving me for free. I can't get yeah, some but, of these movies for but, free. But in the in, when you're in that zone, you don't really give a shit about how much content you're getting. Oh uh, yeah, look, maybe not you, but I'm thinking twenty bucks. Yeah, I, I, like at twenty bucks a month, I'll give five dollars to a podcast I like. I won't give twenty bucks for nudes. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to justify, but that's that's the I guess why OnlyFans mm. has become. It's why Patreon oh, has become so popular. Yeah, yeah. It's the people that value the most are the people that consume your content. It's not brands. It's not advertisers. So that's why selling to your consumer base has been the most popular and the most. So you'd, 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 you'd have to be about it. you'd have to be flexible for moving from platform to platform. Yes, but but OnlyFans. They could struggle if they've just cut off their legs. They they will struggle massively because that's you hear OnlyFans and most people like, oh people do porn on there. Oh people just 
nude on there. Oh, that's all I'm watching it for because of that. Like these Instagram girls I like on Instagram, send me to it to watch it on this. Not speaking from experience, from what I've heard. But even... But that's what it is. Yeah, no. That's the whole association with OnlyFans. There should there be some sort of some other platform they'll be able to find, and then it would just blow They'd up. Probably and, jump over the what and is jump it ship Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. so Patreons is the exact same sort of thing. They would be loving this. They'd be like, oh, <laughs> we'll just be a, eating off it. We'll be a bit more so thorough Lana, in terms Lana of Rose age. Be... Age. That, I can't believe that's that's one of the massive things because they weren't like diligent enough by ages of the people on there. Yeah, how can you in, not in just the same way that the, the YouTubers big. sort of it just says taking say platform off. And that I mean, OnlyFans is a lot more liberal, I guess, in what they allow onto their platform. But child pornography isn't one of those things, well, and they have. So yeah, not. I think yeah. I said it with Visa and Debit, Mastercard, yeah. that and that, they've been turning Jesus. a blind eye. But apparently, I was chatting to a girl yesterday. She was who's on OnlyFans, and she was saying her and all her friends have been receiving emails from OnlyFans for the last couple of months, saying, "While this is happening in the news, don't worry, you'll still be allowed to post." Sexually explicit content. We didn't, and then more or less, now, we didn't, we didn't tell you, but <laughs> yeah. just we just might go not that way. We don't endorse it, but don't stop. <laughs> it's interesting. It's it's their way of working around because the main issue for, by the sounds of it, from the people who want to pull out, pull out. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, lot of ma- lo- a yeah. lot of issues. Yeah. From that, that was quite. Yeah. That was very. Pun- that was very that punny. Correctly. That was very punny. But um. Yeah, the main issue is... He's coming un- and going. Yeah. <laughs> Blow your load and hit the road, mate. 100%. Hold on. Yeah. So, but let's get back to it because this is going to be a weird segue. But their only issue was like the underage stuff. It's probably the main issue they had with it. Because they like knew it. it was porn, but they probably didn't realize it was... There was underage stuff getting through and they weren't diligent enough. So this is their happy medium and maybe they'll come to a... Except like, okay, we won't... We're not angry. You've just stopped the main thing. We have a problem. Just got to find that... Middle ground, it's like bloody Goldilocks and the bloody, I don't know, what are the three bears? Is. The three know. bears, you don't want hot, you don't want that hot porridge, that cold porridge. You, yeah. just want, you know, just nice enough, you chuck it in the, the microwave for two and a half minutes, you bring it out and straight in the gob. <laughs> Negotiate hard. <laughs> we want no, no sex. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, give us some sex, we'll just make it of age. Just, okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, all right. Legal. That but would be nice. It's not meant to be. They're, they're just, Still doing it anyway. What about what about yeah. soft porn, underage? That sounds illegal to me. Yeah, but like, isn't that what that's what they do on TikTok? Is that okay? Well, that's it, a different discussion, a philosophical okay, yeah. discussion of what is TikTok. Well, how? Oh, well, then are, are you, you saying, could like, go should into, they be allowed to post that on TikTok? But that's the majority of videos on TikTok. Soft porn. It's like that's just what you've been fed, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what you've You're been right, fed. Feed. What's going on with my feed, mate? Jesus. I need to change my filter. Uh, Mum, just, Dad, you did not hear this. Just people dancing. That's TikTok. Yeah, we'll just um, we'll leave. You don't even that. ask the age. I'm gonna uh, I'm, <laughs> let's. Um, some awkward I'm gonna well. uh, shrug that away. I definitely don't filter my uh, search on TikTok. No, it's custom sort of to stuff. you. So what it's done is it's, it's gone. <laughs> oh, you like this stuff? We're gonna keep giving you more of it, and you're engaging with it. Maybe you're spending a little bit longer on the videos. Even if I'm twice. even if I'm negatively talking about it, I've, I'm I'm bringing it up, so it's doing something to me. See what Hopefully. that? I think you're just spending a long time on that type of content. I'm gonna I'm gonna defend him here because I think what he's doing is he's looking at it. He's shaking his head and saying, what would her father think? And that's all he's doing. He's just very upset seeing these things. And I'm just, just doing like, a bit oh, of, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let my child do I'm this. I'm just doing a bit of analytical oh, research. Yeah. You know, like you can't base your base off, base off your information of one video. You've got to do a bit of scrolling. You've definitely true. got to scroll to figure that's it true, out. That's true, yeah. Well, actually, one thing that I've seen recently is Billboard changing the way that they've organized their TikTok list. And they've started to attribute credit to the, the most viral songs on TikTok to the creator that sent that song viral. Not the actual creator. So not even the, the, uh, the artist. So the artist gets the attribution as well. But uh, a lot of, well, not a lot, but some of the songs that have gone viral on TikTok, Astronaut in the Ocean, one mm. example. What you was, know about? Is that the down, down, down in the deep. deep. When your head is numb and you don't know what you think. We just got a copyright strike. We nailed that. Oh, uh, yeah, but, oh, we're getting demonetized. Yeah. Fuck. But what happens, like that was a 2018 song. So it wasn't the artist promoting that song that sent it viral. Mm. So it was a creator that put it on their TikTok, which is almost like a radio station, playing it for the world, went viral. So Billboard have recognized this and gone, we should be starting to attribute credit to the person that made this, where the song is. That's such bullshit. You don't like it? Sort of 
Sort of like the I guy, you know, I don't, the, I don't like it. Fleetwood Mac dreams, the the, the dude oh, cranberry the juice. the guy with the cranberry. So he put that song right up the top. There's a guy who drinks cranberry juice to dreams. I'm new to TikTok. Oh, there was a guy. There was a guy. <laughs> was it in Florida? I'm old. I'm not sure. So yeah. it was a it was, there, there's, cranberry juice. I'll look it up. There was a hippie don't looking worry. dude in America, yeah. and he was just. We were saying, Riding a skateboard. I can call, I'll call it flow state. We were talking about flow state before. He was in his flow we'll, state. We'll talk about that next, yeah. He was just cruising along the, I don't know, some highway mm. in America somewhere and he was just drinking a drinking cranberry some cranberry juice, juice yeah. with uh, life. Yeah, Fleetwood back just singing in the background. And so, But should he not get... I reckon he should get attributed. The creator... Exactly. Take, I think that's a good thing if they're both exactly. getting attributed. Why, why do you Because they're blowing like the song back up again. They're the reason... If it's on I a TikTok specific it. billboard, not the Billboard 100 or whatever, it's just for TikTok. It's a separate I list. get it, but would that be for advertising as a whole? What do you mean? If someone, if if you watched a TV ad and they had a certain song and you only listened to it, you only watched that TV ad because the song you liked the tune of that song. Wouldn't that that wouldn't that wouldn't Name, that bring me one song? Wouldn't that's that blown up? Wouldn't that from a TV ad? Yeah, but it would though. What song? But then wouldn't you? I, give, but you give credit to I don't Telstra. Know. But I'm just saying advertising as a whole. Yeah. You say Telstra did a great yep, job yep. getting that song. Yep, that song. So it was... Um, Telstra reminded Cla- me that song Cla- was good. Claire Delune. Yeah. By Flight Facilities. Yep. Telstra use it on pretty much every single ad now. At the end, yeah. it's like... Duh, 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 duh. It's like, like Master Chef. They're just hot in your but car it's like by the piano. Perry. It's like with the yeah. piano. They use that. Sh- yeah. Wouldn't you think that they would get some sort of attribute for doing that? If, if anything, that song's not viral though. That song if, is not on the top of any chart. But but I, I, think I, don't, I don't think it has to be on the top of any chart. Though. But that's well, different. That's, that's Billboard though. Billboard ranks the top songs. Yeah. And if it's not a top song, no one gives a fuck at Billboard. And if an advertiser is using it, they have to pay for the rights of that. So that person's yeah. already been compensated. This is this, if anything, is a little bit more sketchy than that. If you take that take, because the creator of the song doesn't get any benefit from it, unless theirs blows up through Spotify, people start buying more. But it seems like it's a mutually beneficial relationship. If a TikToker uses your song. That blows up. They blow up. Everyone wins. How do you feel about that? <laughs> you still, oh, you know, look, like the artist it. needs the, well, the credit. I get it. First, I get it. I'm always. just umming and ahhing a little bit because the artist has put in the hard work. Yeah, I get they might may may have not written the song. But the artist still gets the credit though, and they get all they, the financial. I reward. get they get the credit. They're getting but all the upside. Go, if we go back to, if we go back to that Fleetwood Mac song, the guy skating on the skateboard yeah. along the motorway. He didn't put any effort whatsoever in that. He was just cruising, having creamy juice, and just decided, "Oh yeah, that song looks pretty. That sounds pretty yeah. decent." Like, I but no, that song was not getting as many streams. It I get wasn't, it. No, it, was, I, it wasn't Billboard number I, one. And I get what it you might mean. Have from, been back I, get, in I get what you mean from that regard. I get, I get what you mean from that regard. I'm just talking about how how a, an artist as such would put so much hard work into creating a song and making it catchy at that pre, like at the time of that era versus some TikToker who. Just decided to cr- just decided to use it as the background song, you know. It it might have might have been any significance to him at all. He just probably went, not. Yeah, and I, I get what you mean. It's gaining traction, but the workload in comparison to his video versus what they did to create an amazing song, I just don't. It can't. It's there's no comparison. So like, if you if you were to create a song, say this is mm. yours, yeah, it yeah. had no traction whatsoever, like little bit, but this one big TikToker. Picked it up like that would look really good on my video. They used it on their video. It worked really well, and you blew up. Would you be a little annoyed by it blowing up because it wasn't organic through that, that's or because TikTok brought it on? Look, that's a, would that annoy you? That's a different sort of scenario because if you're if you're new to the music industry and you're wanting to get, gain traction, then that would be different. Fleetwood Mac have been around for ages, and they've already got like a massive following. I get you'd get a different demographic actually listening into the music and they probably never knew that Fleetwood Mac existed. But I'm just, I'm talking about in terms of workload as such. You know, you might, you might actually get end up getting the wrong targeted music audience by gaining traction from someone. I don't think there's such thing. You don't think don't, so? If people no like it, that's thing. the yeah. target audience. I yeah. Think. I think you can try yeah. to push it one way, but if it just the turns out you've decides. got it wrong. Yeah, I mean, I can see your point. Like, maybe the purity, uh, purity talking, of the so, artist so, is like... All right, so say, for example, someone... We'll use TikTok again. Someone has used a specific audio tune that's now starting to become trendy and he's not really into heavy metal music. He's just specifically using it because it's like the top four audio file on TikTok. Yeah. And then their targeted audience is now listening into it and then using it because... 
they know it's a top four hit. They're not specifically using it because they actually like the song. It's because it's now a trending song. Do you know what I mean? Does it matter? I guess it depends on the artist because I probably wouldn't care. I don't think it matters. Lots of people listen to the music. The people who really like it and may have not heard it yet now I've heard it and they're probably like just oh fucking, this is just, good just, just leave me in the corner mate it's not gonna <laughs> fucking work <laughs> I don't think I'll be sw- I think I can see your point but I think even if it's through it's a million people who aren't the target audience you want listening to it they're over there apparently no I know, but like, I know. you'll find the people who really do like it and well, now they I, might not have heard it before well you get more fans and I get what I you mean exposure really bad, exposure is exposure there's, there's no different type I'm just talking about people that will that are really actually embedded the in the The easy credit to the TikToker not... who didn't have to do that much work for yeah. That's more your problem. That it's easy for them, whereas the artist had to put oh, Well, let's just up. fucking... Let's just leave that right side, all right? I'm <laughs> what, just going to... What were you saying the other day? You got lost in Ikea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we do we have to bring this up? Or Absolutely. You... <laughs> Ikea, Ikea is a mess, but it's also wonderful to say that. They... they... <laughs> One thing they 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 strive themselves on being convenient. I fucking I think the complete opposite. You know, they got the flat packs, and I get it that you take it home, you put it together, and fuck me, that's another story. It takes a whole day just to put one thing together, yeah. and by the end of it, you put the last drawer in the cabinet, and you find out that there's two missing screws, and you're like, oh fucking hell! And you and you've been trying to put this together with this small Allen key, <laughs> this is smaller than my pinky. Well, the story of IKEA is you go in and you you're meant to follow the arrows and. Fucking, you know. They tell you where to walk. Through to 24 sections or whatever. <laughs> as intelligent as I am, I'm, I'm going to go the other way and that's it. It's like you you, you, you veer the one one way and you're not following, you're lost. It, it takes you about five is hours to come out of it. Is it possible to shortcut Ikea? Yeah, they, they have oh, the, there is, on there the is side, shortcuts. they have a little shortcut routes that but you can luck. go from like good aisle to three to 13. Oh, mate, you good luck. Go from- Honestly, good luck to you. <laughs> okay. Um, if there's any opportunity, have like, I have, but it sounds like a. I don't, no, why if, would I go to the shops? Look, if there's you want some furniture. If there's any opportunity, if there's any opportunity for, for you to be able to look onto the IKEA website and purchase it in that regard, just get them to deliver. It. Get them, <laughs> get them, get them to do the flat pack for you. And all you need to do is the heavy lifting to put in the room. Just say you've done all the work. That is the best thing to do. It just avoid. Actually, go to IKEA for the meatballs. <laughs> If you go, if you're hungry and you're passing IKEA, go for the food, go for the meatballs. All the, I think it's um, they're Swiss. The so Swedish, get it, yeah. the Swedish, Swedish, the Swedish, Swedish meatballs. So Swedish meatballs, the Swedish treats. Go for that. Go for your life, but don't follow the arrows. Don't shortcut. Don't buy into any of that bloody flat pack shit yeah, unless it's experience. already. Mate, <laughs> why do you think I'm getting really passionate about this? I hate this. It's not. It's not worth it, man. Just get it all sorted for you, so you can do. You just put it in the room. Slot in the corner and Bob's jungle. Everything's all sorted. Can what? I say the, the the meatballs at IKEA are kind of shit? They're overrated. They're like they are not good. I used to think they were good. I used to think they were good when Mate. I was a child. I had the palate of a child. Are you <laughs> having them plain? Are you having them plain though? I mean, I'm having them whatever they're recommending. Like if they're... soak them in the gravy, like uh, mu- mushroom gravy. gravy Don't mate. get me started on that gravy. That gravy is not flavoursome at all. I mean, I'll go to IKEA for the furniture. I'll follow the maze, but the no meatballs, way. I'll pass them on the meatballs, but I'm not feeling no. it. You know what I've started to notice? Sauce just doesn't make good fo- shit food good anymore. I think it's. A sub- I think it used to trick me. I think it's a substitution for for hiding the quality, actual, the actual quality. Yeah. Like it's like if you th- th- think about it, like if you're having a good gourmet snack, you don't want to cover it in tomato sauce and mustard sauce because you're buying into it because it's bloody organic apple and apple and vinegar flavored sausage. There's because something in there that's flavorsome, and, yeah. and you can't even taste it if it's just soaked. You're, you're like you're just throwing it in the deep end of a pool, and you may as well do that because it, you can't taste the flavoring. All it is bloody tomato and tomato. Yeah, if you cook something for someone. Don't put and, the sauce on. And they immediately no. put sauce on, like tomato sauce or something. That's like a spit in the face. In going That's on, like there's nothing more disrespectful uh, than me. You know what, you know spinach pie, spinach Yeah. It's a, it's a Greek yeah. pastry, spinach, feta. Right. It's, a, it's like a pie. Yeah. Dad put sweet chili sauce on it. Ooh. What? <sighs> but then that just hides the flavoring. <sighs> he, that's his way he of saying well, whoever cooked it, not good enough. I don't know what That's he's what he's doing. saying. Well, he's saying that is not I enough know, flavor for I me. I know smokers do it because they... The reduction of taste, like their the taste sensation in the tongue, they just coat. Like if, if you're having a decent roast, you're, they'll just coat it in salt, pepper, and tomato because they want the extra flavoring because they can't actually taste what it actually is. <laughs> but I'm going to ask as well, with regards to tomato, mustard, whatever sauce you like, fridge or, f- or cupboard? 
I've had this discussion with so many people and I can't come up with a... It's always 50-50. I can't get a definitive answer. Do you, Why does it matter? It, it, it's so to me, different. it's cupboard till you open it and then keep it in the fridge. I Preserve that. But imagine having, really. imagine having a cold sauce on a nice warm snag in a First bun. of all, that's the point. I think that's, that, so I what, think that's so a great contrast. Though. So you're telling me you actually have to get into that, bite into that snag whilst it's warm. Just and you put the cold sauce just to simmer it down. Yeah. So if it was if it was like if it wasn't warm, cold sauce, it wouldn't be good. You'd have to quickly warm up the snack in the microwave to make it. I don't give a fuck about my food. Yeah, I'm you're a bad person. He's, he's, no, he's eating the good. same lunch for what twelve I can't, years, mate. I got tuna a, and beans or some shit. Like he, I've got he, to satisfy um, myself. Oh yeah, when, I, I have when very it, flavor. When it comes to sausages, though, do you reckon like Bunnings putting it outside <laughs> the front of the warehouse is this? A business strategy or, or community strategy? Like, what's the? It's been synonymous with Bunnings. I know. What's, what's Bunnings the business? Snacks? I know so many. I know so this. many people that just go to Bunnings purely for the snags. <laughs> I don't know if it's a placebo effect where you're telling yourself that the snags taste better and you can't get that flavoring anywhere else. But I think the flavoring is reduced over time because now, I believe Bunnings. I don't know if they can do the onions anymore. There was an incident not long ago where someone they had the onions on top of the snags. And someone, the, the onions spilled over on the floor as someone was walking to Bunnings and supposedly slipped. So now there's been like a health and safety sort of order where I don't know if they can use the onions. Whether or not it's on the bottom. I think they have to put it on the bottom of them. But it's not the same. Yeah. I like to crunch That's into the onions before getting into be the snack. anything they slip on. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that was someone, was someone had true. some Someone had some sort of vengeance against <laughs> about, Bunnings snacks. What about Marta 10 from, or the, Marta from, 10 from, from the Bunnings. business strategy? Why, why do Bunnings allow... Who who did the first Bunning sausages? Well, I think it's usually a community. They it's deem, community it, they deem it to be for a charitable yeah. event, but I still think it's, it's like a, a smart thing. business business yeah, type idea. Because you build a community around your shop and people want to shop there for more than just Mate. what you have. It's for the community and you help someone else. Are there any other businesses yeah, like that that do something similar to community-minded? I mean, they all kind of do it. Like McDonald's does Ronald McDonald Foundation. They all have like some kind of... Don't get me wrong, they they, they've, to, they've they? got the right... Not, they do, like, yeah. They're doing it for the right reasons, but they know for a fact that it'll gain some sort of traction. Like, oh, like they're helping out for such and such who is going through this and that. But they know for a fact that it's still going to gain some sort of traction yeah. for them. Because people care about the snag. Like, you know a Bunnings snag. You go to Bunnings, you get a snag. That's yeah. Like, it's, it's not... Yeah, it's, it's hand in hand with Bunnings. Like, every time someone exactly. go to Bunnings... You're going to get a snag? It's, a, oh, okay. it's, it's nice that they're putting money it's towards tight. the Starlight Foundation, but the snag itself is yeah. immaculate. And it's not. It's a piece of bread. It's a sausage. I'm so glad you just said and, that. And it's onion. <laughs> and the I'm best so thing you, glad you it, just said that. It's like the Swedish about, meatballs, bro. It's all placebo. It's all. It's no, not no, that no, good. No. I can make a better sausage uh, at the home. Best thing it's about, a real bun. The best thing about the bunning snags is that the tomato sauce has been out the fridge for over an hour. And you don't get that cold sensation. I'm telling you. Look, look, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't hate it. But the, the snag itself is fine. You're growing on me, Dino. Yeah, I'm starting to like you. It's not. I don't know if it's the for hat. the price. It's great. Is it, yeah. it's the hat. What, what's getting into you? Become a chimney. It's boy. so overrated. Yeah, it's, it's a shit sausage for two dollars or whatever. It's, it's, it's okay. It's a twenty-four can, pack for eight dollars. It's it's. Okay. it's well, I call bullshit. It's a twenty-four it's pack a for eight dollars. It's, it's not, been it's, on the barbecue for probably thirty minutes in the co- on the side of the barbecue that doesn't have the gas burning because the gas burner no, is no, broken. No, 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 no. Yeah, so they haven't cleaned the barbecue keep in three weeks. Warm. Yeah, but it's no nice to get that barbecue. That old no greasy sort of flavouring. From three weeks ago. That's your classic Aussie snag. In my house, that's fine because I know where my barbecue's been. I don't know what's been going on that barbecue, mate. It's outside. It's with the weather. It's got shit on it. As long as Luke been, hasn't been tossing him, it's fine. <sighs> yeah, look, I wouldn't trust Luke to cook my food. Look, I'm going to just bring something up, I'll right? gladly not cook food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wouldn't offer to. but Because <laughs> if you're buying into Bunnings, you're also buying into Coles and a bunch of other businesses. It's a it's a conglomerate. Well, what do you mean by that? Where else do you go for tools? In all the shit there that you was, get from Bunnings. There was Might Attempt. That competition's are dead. There was Might Attempt. There was Masters. Yeah, but they... Will, will, and will Masters. Attempt. They're dead. There's like, there's no option. At least when it comes to like groceries, you can go to IGA if you want to pay through the roof. You can go to the fruit Monopoly. shop. But the Bunnings, I don't know. What else? Is there anything else? Am I just so... No, I'm so a, caught I, up? I feel like it is a complete I don't think Monopoly. they have anything else. Would you invest in Bunnings then? Would you be buying into Bunnings as a company? Oh, aren't they a part of... Is it West Farmers? West Farmers. I believe they are. 
Because they, I'm pretty, that's it. They literally are a part of all that. Well, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure. No, I think because like, Coles. Because I, I believe, yeah, they're owned by Coles. Yeah. I think well, they own the, K- the company. The company is Wes Farmers. Yeah, that owns a bunch of different brands. Yeah, exactly. And are there any are there any brands or investments that you wouldn't make? Are there any companies that you wouldn't buy into? I think a restaurant would be tough, especially at the moment. And, and I think even before now, like I think a it restaurant doesn't. Would I be honestly like, think it doesn't. Red Rooster. Red Rooster. What? No way. How Red, is, that is that a Red restaurant? Existing. Red no, Rooster. How is that existing? Red Rooster. <laughs> I, I recall we always go to Red Rooster at Christmas time to get our, our chicken. Mate, they do the best chicken. I don't know how they do. They do the I don't know. Chicken. How, I don't know how they survive for the rest of the year. Yeah. Okay. Oh, to cop that, maybe maybe a lot of people go at Christmas, but again, how do they survive the rest of the year? I mean, I mean, there's never a line. Their their main their main meal is a, is roast chicken. And it's not coated in battered shit like KFC. I mean, I love that battered shit. That's what makes it f- the flavoring amazing. Yes. But then it's just gravy, peas, and all this stuff. Standard stuff that you could just make. And, yeah. you know. Woolworths be, like, got rid of them. Woolworths I, made them redundant because you no, can just get know. a cooked chicken from Woolies. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I cook, don't understand. Just, that's you, $7. And you've got to wait. You've got to wait. Like, they, they'll, bring out, they'll bring out the, uh, the, old, the old hot chickens. You wait till like quarter to five or whatever it is. Just before they're about to close up, and you you might be like a get like a five or six dollar one out of out of pocket. See, look, I don't know, but, but apart from that, who owns Red Rooster? That's what I don't know. Is there it's a is there, pair of is there money? Is there another it's Ronald? Money. Is there another Ronald McDonald? Does he have a double ganger? Yeah. And does he own Red Rooster? Or the Maccas own Red Rooster just to keep it? So look how busy the Red the Mac is. That is this Red Rooster is, actually is shit such house. A good point. We need to just keep them around just to show how shit they that, are compared to and us. That, and that's actually show how that's, good we are. That's actually what Rebel Sport used to do because they own Amart. They, they own they own Amart. I shit you not. They own Amart. I'm Amart not the Sports. first one with this idea. They closed yeah, it down though. Yeah, but for ages they had the shit clearance stuff on sale at Amart, and then everything else was at Rebel. Now it's actually a strategic idea because they've removed that side of business. Now it's only Rebel. And there's that's a common strategy though. Because like obviously that's you can, obviously you can go specifically to your Nikes and Adidas or New Balance or whatever it may be just to get Nike based like footwear or whatever it may be. But now what is in competition with Rebel Sport? There's no athletes foot online. But there's yeah online of it's course but in the... store there's nothing. Yeah. So they've they've done themselves a uh, like you know they've done themselves a favor for the long run. Do we worry about that? Where what lots of things like there's Woolworths and Coles. I guess Aldi hangs around, but there's Bunnings. Monopolies. Yeah, they're just... We have one option in terms of... It seems like it's going more and more that way. Do we worry about them not having competition? Well, that comes back to like that Epic Games situation as well with Apple and and fighting the, the Play Store as well. And What's- Monopolies Talk- what you- uh, with Fortnite Play- in-app purchases. Yeah. So they've fought back uh, because Apple... If you're doing under a million dollars in in-app purchases, you're taxed at fifteen percent, and if you're what? over a million dollars, it's thirty percent. What? That's the tax, and that's the tax that's of being on the App Store. But Epic Games, which is Fortnite, have fought back and saying, I believe the the issue is they're monopolizing a secondary market, which shouldn't be the case, and apparently it goes against anti-consumer laws or something mm. like that. You're silly to quote me there, but that's what is happening there. So people, and Elon Musk tweeted about it a couple of days ago because he is with Epic Games. He doesn't think Apple should be monopolizing it. They should be allowed new but, people so to there break are, into the market. Yeah. yeah. How do they control monopolies though? How do you control monopolies? You, you can't. Can't allow them to buy it. But even but, I don't, I don't know. I don't have enough smarts when it comes to that. But but how did how did Fortnite not get in trouble? Like when they actually developed the they game, they got kicked off the app store. When they, I understand that side of things, those side of things. But the game itself, how do they not get in trouble for? They look like as if they were just making a duplicate of what was that other game? There was this other survival game, PUBG. PUBG. It's the exact same platform, the exact same way the the games run. They're, they're worried about what Apple's doing to them. But they fucked around PUBG. It's the exact same platform. I don't know. When it comes to games, it feels like they all kind of just feed it's, off each other. They feed it's off the same like, thing. They all do. Like, first-person shooter. Like, you'll have Call of Duty. You'll have it, Battlefield. You'll have something else come from it. But what, what, but what Fortnite did 
which was uh, one up from from PUBG, was the fact that they added all those dance moves and they followed what was trending and they looked at TikTok. They looked at all the TikTok dance moves and all that sort of stuff, chucked in little audio files that knew would gain traction, would help them gain traction. Travis, Travis Scott concert. They did a live yeah, I watched that as well. Scott-tron yeah, because they actually did a live concert with Travis Scott yeah. dancing on the moon and it looked like we were, you know, lying, lying under the stars, buddy, high as a kite. Surely there was a bit of an influence of Jimi Hendrix in there or something. But they're gaining traction because they know that by doing that, it's the right thing to be doing at that present time. But I guess they they just created a better, better product that was more desirable to the market. That's what I'm saying. They yeah. didn't buy up PUBG and get rid of them because they were the competitor. Like That's probably more where it starts to be like... That's just beating the competition. That feels like that's just being better. Playing the same more game. More people want to play Fortnite because it's better. Mm. Not that Fortnite or Epic Games bought out PUBG... And then just crumbled it. So yeah, that's fair. Like, that's fair. That's more like that's more where the worry comes from. Where you just have these companies that are so powerful, no one's going to ever come up and compete with them. Which then is the problem. Monopoly is, and they can just dictate price. They can do whatever they want. They can just control that whole aspect of the market. And when you've got Facebook, who is the biggest, the, has the biggest user base in the world. Facebook, the app, the platform, the mm. social network, has the biggest user base in the world. But it's aging up. And younger people aren't going on Facebook, but what they do have is Instagram. No, well, yeah, but yeah, they've Instagram. got a big bank account where they can buy whatever new app is coming up. Yeah. So yeah. that's the way that Facebook is staying relevant, and that's the way they've been able to still hold themselves as a monopoly because well, they buy out apps. Yeah, they bought out Instagram. They bought out they? WhatsApp. Yeah. So they're all owned by the same platform, same company. So this is wow. the way that. It's been monopolized yeah. because they go, actually, you're right. Like we recognize the fact that we're not cool. We're not <laughs> hip. We don't have our finger on the pulse with what we came here for. But what we can do is delete the competition by bringing it onto our side. Yeah. Well, then that's, you see that everywhere in society. I know when, I know with Westfield Carrondale on Scrub Road, there's this massive grass field. For people who don't know where Scrub Road is, it's in Brisbane, um, Australia. Uh, and they they bought that land out because supposedly there was there was mention for, for over a decade that there was going to be a small shopping center into that area. That's like monopolizing exactly, you know, their, yeah. their competition. They, they know that if they were to leave it and just shrug it aside, yeah, they'll be doing well, but they wouldn't be doing as profitably you can't afford to split exactly their, right their user base you've got to look ahead and you've got to be ready for the future and that's exactly what as you're saying facebook's doing they know they might be at this present time they might be doing really well but looking ahead in the future they need to set themselves up they need to buy into things that they know that will be heading in the right way it, uh, it's tough to know what should even be done well that's but facebook are in a position where they can make the wrong calls and still, did, did still worth, recover from may it. Well and, may as well take the gamble. And so Facebook tried to overpay for Snapchat, and I think it was like 2013. And it, the offer that they got, Snapchat got, was kind of ridiculous. But even Spengel didn't take it. And I mean, he's better for it now. He's gone public and it's worth a lot more now. But at the time, it was a very, very strong offer. But what, what they're trying to do is go, okay, we might completely lose out on this deal mm. where we're happy to overpay because we know we're going to get publicity from it. Mm. Even just by making that offer, having the lawyers draft everything up, they're getting publicity from it. Millions and millions of dollars of publicity. This is how we're talking about it. We're giving them free publicity. And then you've got, if they actually, the deal does go through, then you've got the value from that and yeah. the potential upside to that deal. So there's very little downside in these big companies just swallowing Swallowing even, everything up like plebiscites. Even if... Like even plankton. Was the plankton the little <laughs> fish? With the whale? The whale is eating my Sorry, the only thing I can think of when you say plankton is Bungeable Squarepants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a little... Like, the little the little fellow who tries to, to steal the Krabby Patty formula every yeah. single episode, but then ends up getting squished by something. <laughs> um, Life of a plankton. No, but you may as well take the gamble. Even if you don't... It, it doesn't actually get to you to where you want to be you still get something out of it you'll still attain some form of traction it was interesting when snapchat actually first came out i remember the filters you actually had to pay like two dollars fifty for each filter really oh yeah shit you're not like you there was your standard i think it was the dog face the dog yeah, face yeah, yeah, with yeah. the with the, the long t tongue but to to, to to i'm going back to the origins mate i was 
I was right there. I was right there when it happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, $2.50 $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. wow. per filter. Oof. And that, that would have That's probably been the Oof. first look yeah. of AI in a very like, 100%. consumer-centric... 100%. There, I mean, I, I know there was... I think there were little um, pop-up places in, in shopping centers where you can actually go into these little booths and you pick what sort of style of clothing you want to get. And I don't know if it's specific, specified to certain clothing stores, but you chuck your, you put your face on it and that, that was the closest we get to, we got to AI. And I would, I would, you know, I think you're accurate in the fact that Snapchat was probably one of the first platforms that used it. I have no idea, but like by the sounds of it, I, I mean like the fact that the fact been. that the fact they, that they, they were the first social media. I, I can confidently say that. Hundred percent. The fact that they they put a price tag on a filter yeah. makes you makes you wonder like what else was out there at the time. And they probably only stopped doing that because Instagram started putting them on for free. So then they had to compete with Instagram. Them. Was slow. Were they slow? Did yeah. someone else start doing? They they, maybe they, they just realized they didn't come around to play for time. quite some time. And it was already free by then. Yeah. And I only recently realized as well on on Instagram they've got the reels. So similar to TikTok. Yeah. You know? This is everyone just copying everyone. <laughs> yeah. Doggy dog well. Keep relevant. Rel- uh, YouTube have YouTube Shorts, which is the TikTok style exactly. 9 by 16 content. Same thing. And Reddit have now announced, I think it was last week, they said they're going to be doing it as well, which is completely different to Reddit. And I don't know how that will go. Because Reddit's got because, a cult-like we, people who don't... It's like the anti-establishment but it's also people. Like, they're people but it's they just, people are about rant on about something they like and they know for a fact that if they do it in the one form and everyone's going to get around them, there's no uh, up talking otherwise about that certain thing. Just quickly, if we had extra money, extra, extra money, where mm-hmm. we can start a business and it doesn't matter if it goes belly up, what are we starting? <sighs> I'll go then. You, you go. go first. Lead so off. Lead off. Go first. I'll think about it. I'm thinking an Italian restaurant. Something, right now? Something, something quaint. Right now? What do you mean? It's, it's a hypothetical where, like, if I... It's have literally what, dollars, the opposite of what I said. In a, yeah. in a world where there's no restrictions and lockdowns? Yeah, I'd still do it because I like the idea of creating a nice restaurant and the ambience would be key just to bring people in. And whether it's successful or not, it's almost not the point because the rest, mm. restaurant game's tricky. But just to having it as an extension of my home to bring people in a nice ambience and like this is almost my place actually i, I i've lost my train of thought but it was a football club i would I actually write, football I write club. this is a different that is, yeah we're going, that we is, we I write that. going to football club bro <laughs> that is awesome. that's what i thought immediately when you told me that i just are you talking about my, being the owner and having the, yeah i own like a, it could be a semi be a no, it could be semi-professional just in the local league, but I want a football so club. Not, I want not, to design the kits. Not PSG. No, we're not talking crazy, crazy money. I'm talking about maybe... Brisbane you know, Raw. A-League. Yeah, A-League level. I'll take that. I'll take a semi-pro, but I want a football club. I want a field that no, I can just what go would you, What would your first thing be then that you would do? Oh, first thing? Oh. Free tickets to Tomorrowland. No, free tickets to Tomorrowland. Yeah, go away. If you want to go there, go there. <laughs> Ibiza. Yeah, no, I don't know. I think the first thing would just be design my kit. All pink. Design the Ooh. kit. Pink and black. What, has no one nailed the kit yet? No one's now yeah, the kit kids, to my Kids team. change every year. Kids change every year in the big team so they can keep you buying a new one. Good revenue raising technique. Exactly. So literally, just so show off our new sponsors and get some more money. It's like that male female face wash. Like our skin is, I'm pretty sure the same. Like, do, do we need took, a different well, face I wash? I thought we had different hormones. Are you talking about the one where they go like that and then, then it ends up burning the skin because they've done the, the, the pre shaving? I don't know. Oh, you got the cucumbers on your know. eyes? You put your cucumber on the eye and you get the whole face wash. No, my mask eyes are sore right now. What, what are you doing? Oh mate, what would I do? Oh, fuck, I don't even know, eh? Give me, give me something. Give me something to work off. You'd be a label. You want an ice skating rink. <laughs> ice, ice skating. <laughs> you, want to, you want to open up a golden casket? Are we, are we talking about um, I Tonya? Oh, that, I you know. want the next Tonya? I Tonya, mate, the Olympian who got her legs taken out right before the Olympics. Massive. It's a movie. He doesn't watch movies. Yeah, 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 don't worry about it. He won't yeah. even. Actually, do you know what I would do? I would, I would get into app development, and I would bring back. I'd go Flappy, Flappy oh Birds 2.0. <laughs> Mate, that was the most basic game and it blew up. They actually deleted it. They, they deleted it off the App Store and people that actually still had it on their phones, they were selling the phone for like over 100 grand. <sighs> Imagine the addiction you must have to buy a phone with Flappy Birds. So I'll make it, I'll do grand. like, just just so I don't get in trouble with 
uh, copyright rules and stuff. I'll call it Fappy Birds. Yeah, no, Fappy. No, Fappy. No, yeah, no, you might have a different issue. <laughs> and we'll have like a. You might we'll have a different <laughs> issue with that one. <laughs> we'll have like a dildo floating yeah. in between bricks. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think that'll hit just as well as Flappy Bird. Yeah. Slightly different demographic, but I reckon you'll, Fappy get, Birds. Some, you'll get some traction in it. There you go. OnlyFans. I could get OnlyFans to buy into it. Fappy Birds. You've got the sponsor lined up. I mean, his is the most thought out of all of ours. That's. So we, I could have deal. I could have I could have content creators on Fap, on OnlyFans playing Fappy oh, Birds wow. whilst doing their own version of Fappy Birds you at the play, same time. You played yourself like you just came <laughs> up with an hour. You've been thinking about this for a while. What, I what do. Do I, Fappy Birds? What? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Number five podcast in the world. You already know that, but thank you, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. The games smash in development that, just uh, that wait a couple of months, all right?